I've never seen a girl like you Swear down, down She a savior Find you, you're welcome See how we is brand new hi guys welcome back to my channel so on today's tutorial i'll be teaching us how to cut and sew this beautiful back stress i'm putting on so we'll be drafting on the pattern paper first we'll just go ahead now to take our basic bodies measurements so from my shoulder to my boss is 10 inches and my shoulder to under boss is 13 and a half inches my half length shoulder to half length is 16 inches and also we'll be adding you can add five when we added four and a half which is 20 and a half for my back's effects so we'll just go ahead now to rule the lines vertically so we are done ruling the lines now we'll just go ahead now to name the lines we have the boss point please that first one was the boss point i made a mistake and i'm just seeing it on the video the first line is the boss point the second line is the under boss the third line is the half length and the fourth line is the back's length please and please the first line is the boss point it was a mistake on my end so still on the vertical measurements we'll be dividing our shoulder into two Mine is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. I also went down 1 inches for our shoulder slope. So I'll just connect it. So and after that, we also the I use my shoulder measurements as my armhole measurements, 8 inches also. And we just draw a straight line. Hope you can oh I hope you all can see me so so we'll just go ahead now to give it a curve so you you will just divide the eight into two that's going to be the starting of your curve you can use a curve ruler so guys now we'll be taking our measurements so my boss i'll be making is of nine inches nine inches and I'll also be adding two inches allowance so my under boss of making of 7.5 and i'll also be adding two inches allowance also and my half length of making of eight inches and i'll be adding two inches allowance so and after that we just go ahead now to connect the lines go ahead to connect the lines and when you're ruling it you rule it down to the back length you really down to the back length so after after that we'll be going up on our boss points we'll be going up by half an inch and also coming in by half an inch be going up by half an inch and also coming in by half an inch as you can see what i'm doing so so after that you go to your neck for my neck i'll be using four inches for the wideness of the neck i'll be using four inches for the wideness of the neck so you can see how i'm ruling my v i will rule from that four inches to meet the half inches i took inside as you can see yes so i rolled it to meet the half inches i took inside not at the extreme end on the under balls i will be going in by two inches to that sorry two and a half inches just to give me a guide since i'm not making use of my curve ruler just to give me a guide how i can cough cough it so you'll be coughing from the um v from the half inches from the v down to your under boss if you make if you're making it a curve ruler perfect for you so i will just at the end of the the half length i will just go up by half inches and i'll just give it a slant so you can also make use of your curve ruler in this 
in this coffin so it's going to be very perfect but if you don't have a cough ruler you can also make use of your free hand and try to make it perfect so after that it's time to make our bags effects so you're going to start from our half length which is 16 inches you can see how i'm placing my ruler and give it a slant downward to create our bags effect so we'll go ahead now to cut our pattern and please be careful how you're cutting watch how i'm cutting so you know mistakenly cut out the value everyone's So now we are done cutting our front piece so guys i went ahead now to use a masking tape to put the front piece together for now so i can work on the back piece so basically everything every measurement i use on the front piece that's the same measurement i'll be using on the back piece the only difference is going to be the neckline and there won't be a division on the back i won't divide the back just like i did at the front piece so i'll just go ahead now to mark all the lines together exactly how it is on the front piece so you remember to to keep your zipper allowance so i actually made use of one and sorry one and a half inches for zipper allowance so i'm just trying to rule the lines together so as you can see so after that we'll be working on the neckline because that's the only difference between the back piece and also because you will not be able to divide the back piece so we made use of four inches for the whiteness so for the neck depth i'll be going in by one and a half inches so i'll just draw the line and i'll curve so that's all for the back that's all so I'll just go ahead now to cut that's my zipper allowance so I'll go ahead now to cut So we are done cutting now we are done cutting the back piece so our front piece and our back piece is ready as you can see it's ready so i'll go ahead now to trim the armhole of the front piece inward to so go ahead to trim the armhole of the front piece inward is actually optional if you want to fine if you don't want to you can leave it like that so so our pattern papers are ready so go ahead now to place them on the fabric and you can see i cut all of it and i also added half inches for the joining allowance so we are done cutting so that's for the front piece over so we just go ahead now to cut out our sleeve so i'm done marking my sleeve lens and every other thing so now i'll just go ahead now to cut it out so please guys if you're still finding it difficult in cutting uh, a sleeve or you don't know how to cut a sleeve yet a basic sleeve here to just drop a, co a comment below so i can make a tutorial on how to cut a sleeve for you so just go ahead now to cut out 
because this is actually a puff sleeve it's a big sleeve it doesn't require so many measurements like that so after that we'll just go ahead now to to pipe our neckline so i'll be making use of a bias you can make use of a lining so i'll make i'll be making use of a bias i cut out my strips and i'll just sew the both sides so now i'm done sewing them you can see how neat they are i'm done sewing them so i'm done with those so the next i'll be moving to my to the middle of my dress for the front the middle part as you can see so i'll just go ahead now to make use of a bias to turn it or you can just turn it so i'm done doing that as you can see so now i'll be placing the uh, the breast cup the breast parts so this is how we are going to sew it so we'll just go ahead now to so start from there we'll sew it round you can also if you want to make a gather or pleats in the mid point. so now you can see we are done sewing it look at how neat it is so i even remember that i loosened it and made a little uh, pleats on the middle point of the breast cup basically yeah we are done with the front piece so move over to the back piece so you just be turning it with a bias or lining whichever one you want so as you can see i'm done i'm done piping mine with bias i'm done piping mine with bias so so you just be joining the shoulders together the front shoulders to the back shoulders so just quickly do that and come back so after joining the shoulders i went ahead to uh, fix in my zip as you can see i just decided to fix my zip so i went ahead to fix my zip you can actually finish sewing all before you can now fix your zip but i just decided to fix my now so you remember we kept two inches allowance for our our side sewing so you can actually retake your measurements or you just decide to just sew on the two inches allowance just sew right there so after that we move over to the gathered part which is the downside so my full length is 35 inches so 35 minus 20 is 15 inches so we'll be cutting out 15 inches for the length of the gather for the length of the gather will be 15 inches plus one inches which is 16 inches for hemming allowance so now we are done gathering our down parts so you remember for the length of this gather i use 15 inches and for the wideness of this gather i i use 120 inches you can make yours more than or lesser than depending on how you want your gather so now we'll just move over to our sleeve as you can see i'm done hemming the down part of our sleeve i'm done folding it inside so we'll be making use of half an inch elastic we're making use of half an inch elastic so you can see the gather the gather is like a ruffle kind of a ruffle kind of gather so we'll be going in by five inches on the down part of our sleeve we'll be going in by five inches so we'll just mark our five inches through true five inches five inches so we using our ruler to rule to connect the lines together so you can see what i'm doing you understand what i'm doing
so guys we are done marking our five inches so that is the elastic we are going to be using and we'll be sewing on it as you can see as you're sewing you place it on the line you you have drawn and you sew on it and make sure you drag it so it can come together so after that as you can see we are done sewing our elastic and i also went ahead to to close the sides so you can see how beautiful it is you can see how it is right there that is the five inches we, we kept aside so now we'll go ahead and fix the hand so we are done fixing the hand as you can see we are done fixing the hand so we made a little bit of gathers on the hand so i actually had to put that on this dress i'm so sorry i could not record how i put that so i decided to put that for it to give it a fitting a good fitting on the body so you just go ahead to put that on yours if you really want to so after that we'll just go ahead now to hem our gather the down parts so after hemming the down part our dress is ready so please and please if you find this video interesting give it a thumbs up and also leave a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when next i upload a new video thank you very much for watching god bless you bye